Your Excellency, the Deputy Governor of United States, Honorable Idi Barde Kubana, who doubles in as Chairman Committee for the Prevention and Control of COVID-19 in Yobe State, most aptly represented this afternoon by the Honorable Commissioner, Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs and Disease Management, Dr. Abubakar Garba Ilya. Our Royal Father, the Father of our community, the Father of our host community, and above all, the Father of Gasosa. Al Haji Abu Bakar Umar Suleiman, the Emir of Bani. The Honorable Commissioner, sir, that happened to be my boss from day one and my mentor for that matter, Dr. Abu Bakar Garba Ilya. The Deputy Registrar Establishment, Al Haji Ahmad Isa Guru, sitting in for the Registrar. Other respected principal officers of the University, senior ranking staff, respected invited distinguished guests. Gentlemen of the press, ladies and gentlemen, I am presenting a welcome speech on behalf of our Vice Chancellor, Professor Andrew Haruna, who unavoidably will not be here with us today due to the current prevalent lockdown that has put up with him. And he has therefore directed that I shall come and present his speech at this August occasion. So when I say ah, it is not Shatima at the other that is talking, but the eye stands for the Vice Chancellor, Professor Andrew Aruna. That understood, may I present the speech as given to me. May I start by expressing our sincere appreciation to our great Lord Almighty God, who has enabled us all to gather here. intervention program. I want to welcome His Excellency Honorable E.D. Barde Gubana, the Deputy Governor of Yobe State and Chairman Committee for the Prevention and Control of COVID-19 in Yobe State, most ably represented by the Honorable Commissioner, Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs and Disaster Management. Dr. Abubakar Garba Ilya for honoring our invitation to grace this occasion at such a short notice. Sir, we are most appreciative. May I equally express our sincere appreciation to our Father, His Royal Highness Al Haji Abubakar Umar Suleiman, the Emir of Baden who has been so supportive at all times with his fatherly advices and interventions, which has helped tremendously in establishing the existing peaceful atmosphere in our institution. We are appreciative, sir. I equally welcome all our principal officers, 
other staff and invited dignitaries to this occasion. As we are all aware, the entire world today is experiencing an uncommon phenomenon of the coronavirus, the COVID-19 pandemic, which has necessitated a total lockdown of most nations and states, Nigeria in general, and Yobe State in particular inclusive. This has led to the crumbling of the economies of nations and states, thereby harshly affecting the well-being of their citizenry. Based on above, and as part of our social corporate responsibilities, our university is today donating some food items comprising of bags of rice, cartons of spaghetti, and gallons of vegetable oil, worth 500,000 naira. To your base state government in its effort to help curtail the negative effect of the COVID-19 pandemic in this state. Allow me, sir, to express our appreciation to His Excellency for approving the donated items to be shared among host community members of Geshwa, where our university is located. We remain most appreciative, please. At this juncture, I want to use the opportunity to express our appreciation to His Excellency and the Obe State Government for the recognition accorded to our institution by involving two of our erudite indigenous scholars in the persons of professors Memuna Waziri and Shatima Abdul Qadir Saidu, my humble self, at the just concluded post basic and secondary education summit in UB State. This has indeed accorded the university a full insight into the educational policies and aspirations for this young state. As part of our effort to identify with the dynamic policies of His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Yobe State, our university has redefined its priorities and will now be establishing the faculty of education as number one priority. It may interest you all to know that the National Universities Commission, NUC, has already approved the resource inspection of the proposed education programs in the faculty. This is to ensure that enough qualified teachers are readily produced within the shortest time period to meet the urgent educational aspirations of the state government. Furthermore, let me reiterate that I am in continuous lesson with my former Vice Chancellor and the current Vice Chancellor, Yobe State University, Professor Mala Daura, and my academic colleague, Professor Muhammad Munkaila, the Honorable Commissioner for Higher Education, to ensure that our institutional goals are harmonized towards achieving a common objective at meeting the manpower needs of your best state. On a final note, we want to reassure His Excellency and the good people of your best state of our total support and commitment to meet the aspirations of our host state 
and help in its development. We thank you very much for coming and pray that you all return home safely at the end of this event. Thank you very much and God bless. Thank you. Your Royal Highness, the Emir of Bade, our father, Alaji Abokar Umar Suleiman, the Vice Chancellor, Federal University of Gashua, heavily represented by a colleague, Professor Shatima Abdul Kadir, principal officers of the university, members of the Emirate Council, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. I feel delighted to be with you today on this all-important occasion of presentation of food items being an intervention by the university or by the Federal University in Geshua to the people of Bade and its immediate environment. This is a clear demonstration of commitment to corporate social responsibility of an institution that is sensitive to its environment and people. The presentation of food items worth 500,000 Naira at this material time will go a long way in supporting the most vulnerable people of Bade Emirate, especially in the period of lockdown of the borders in the country. It will be recalled that Bade is considered one of the four high-risk COVID-19 areas in the state. Others are Guru, Potisku, and Damatru. It is in this respect that the U.S. government, through the COVID-19 committee and the Ministry of Health, recently constituted a rapid response team to assess the unusual death recorded in the four local government areas mentioned above. The team identified about 471 of such deaths over a period of five weeks. The findings suggest that most of the deaths have some underlying elements, while a few appear to be related to COVID-19. Let me at this juncture inform the gathering that the government of Yobe State, under the leadership of His Excellency, the Executive Governor, Honorable Mayim Alaguni, has since commenced the distribution of palliatives throughout the state. Accordingly, the following modalities was adopted and currently being implemented. One, 471 female-headed households. These are families of deceased persons identified by the rapid response team, including uh, by the local government. Two, 1,700 elderly persons of over 50 years of age across the state, meaning 100 elderly persons per local government. Three, 510 people living with disability across the state. Four, 255 orphanages across the state. Five, 700 vulnerable households to be reached through our traditional rulers in all the 14 Emirates. Six, 1,700 youth-headed households. And lastly, 850 women groups, respectively, totaling 6,186 families. Each of these families will receive a food basket comprising of the following items. 10 kg of either rice, maize, noodles, or pasta, with 4 liters of vegetable oil, 2 sachets of salt or gifts, and 2 medium tin of tomatoes. Distinguished invited guests, your Royal Highness, ladies and gentlemen, it is in continuation of our own efforts that I find the contribution of the Federal University of Geshua very relevant and timely. Let me also remind us that the fight against coronavirus 
or COVID-19 had just started. And the earlier we learn to deal with the disease, the better for all of us. I therefore challenge the university to carry out an aggressive sensitization campaign to educate our citizenry on the need for improved personal hygiene, social and physical distancing, as well as wearing of face masks whenever in public gatherings. As an academic institution and center of excellence in the region, government will appreciate if these messages are translated into local languages for our people to understand. Finally, on behalf of the government and people of Yobe I wish to thank the Vice Chancellor and his team for this wonderful gesture to the people of Badi Emirat at this trying time. All this I read on behalf of the Chairman of COVID-19, uh, Yobe who is also the Deputy Governor of Yobe His Excellency, Alaji Yiribari. I by the chairman COVID-19 uh, committee in your state who is ably represented by the Honorable Commissioner of Humanitarian Appears my neighbor my brother and the one, the one that gives me water all the time. Uh, I will seek the permission of this uh, gathering to make my speech in Hausa so that uh, those that the gathering is made on their behalf so that they will know why this uh, palliative is being given to them and what they should do with it. What could they do Allah <laughs> Godia me kwa me komai wanda cikin rahama sai ya raya mu mu zo jami'a ta ga ya dace ta taimaka wa gwamnati dan a taimaka masu karamin karfi a wannan hali da ake ciki na wannan cuta da ake kiranta covid 19 da ta addabi duniya baki daya kuma mun samu wakilcin wanda yake shugabanta wannan committee na jaha one day to low commissioner, one day ke na agaji, na jaha, then ya tabata the one na abong ambayar. To one na abong anyine dang atemaka. Muta nesi shina anyine dang saboda halin da kuwa yike chiki. Mude anam muna wa Allah godia, yet the was joho jiseka tsananta. To muba tsananta haka wakum one ya dang temaka mana ba katamba. Mujahar Mukarama Jahar Che Ba Che Da Karpunda Zata Che Alifi Kuma Te Ea Te Makao Kuwa Da Kuwa A Loka Chinda Ake Bukata Yena Da Wahala Amman Che Ayahaka Muka Bari Muka Che Ayahaka To Kuma Ba Mata Adal Chi Ba Kuma Ba Mata Ema Keta Ba So Gwabla Ta Taya Da Che Wa Abar Kuwa Che Gwabla Da Kaswa Chinsa Kuma Zata Te Makao Gwar Gwada Ea Abanda Te Kei Kuma Ta Na Ii that is a good thing to Sukuma University Sangaya, that is Suma, Sakao Nasa Oki, then someone is Tala for Jaha. A Masu says, Okay, I'm going to tie that Susan's here in the city. Kuma tie that had that to work with Chi, Mana Gudia and Lysaka than he. So I got put a lot of work on Abu Kusan Tema Kamukaki. But don't call me back, then someone at Tema Kugomati, the Tema Kyoku, Kusamon and Kyota. To Munawa, Jami Abudia, Allah Saka Dal Heri, Abun the Mikas Amani, the Galebu, and Uncoma Kuni, Kuma Kamara, the Shi, one day will see Sugabawana Abun Kusaki Tamakawa, Saboda, Patakarwa, Illata, the one and Chuter, Mutanes Shina Aqueta. 
illa ta shine wanda yake dauke da shi bai san yana dauke da shi ba kuma yana yada ta wannan shine illa ta kuma ita tana illa amma ta fi illa ga wanda yana da ciwo daman a jikin sa to in ta takaru to anan ne ake samu matsala an tazo da karar kwana shikenan mutun sai rasa ran sa saboda haka a ci gaba da wanke hannu akai akai kuma duk sanda kuke ma'amala da mutun to kai kokari ka dan ba da tazara kuma wannan abin da kuke gani na baki na ya zama da kowa yana da shi yanzu ya zama doka a ƙasa in an kama ka ba shi za a yi tarar ka kuma za ka bi akuri wannan shine muna godiya Allah ya saka da alheri yadda aka zo lafiya a kan lafiya Allah ya sa a watse lafiya kuma muna roƙon komishina ya sadda godiyar mu Allah ya saka da alheri Allah mai da kai lafiya wasalama ni da ni da yamun dadi saboda ya zo mu a ina neman sa Alhamdulillah na gode kuma wadanda suka kirkiro da wannan tallafin ubangiji Allah ya buda musu Allah ya buda musu Allah ya sa gobe ta fi yau na samu shinkafa na samu spaghetti na samu mai na samu spaghetti katam daya na samu shinkafa buhu daya sannan na samu fasta mai sannan kuma ina kira ga gwamnati kaman guragun mu na jihar yobe da kuma guragun mu na cikin zonsi a taimaka kamar yadda mu muka yi sa'a aka taimaka mana ba an kira mu ba mun zo wucewa aka kira mu aka ba mu wannan talabi to muna roƙon Allah muna kuma roƙon gwamnati ta taimaka wadanda ma ba su samu ba ubangiji Allah ya sa su ma su samu sunana Abubakar Sadiq Abubakar wambon guragun bare yawa saka da alƙari Allah ya ƙara gode sunana Zainab Ibrahim in ka fada mai da taliya Allah ubangiji ya ƙara bude Allah ya ƙara sarki lafiya 